Welcome back to Kemper Arena in Kansas City. We are being, being treated right now to one of the most spectacular light shows of pregame activities that I have ever witnessed. They are using mirrors and laser beams, and the theme is keep your eye on the sky because here come the Kansas City Comets. Well, hello, everybody. Dave Armstrong and Klaus Kolmai in Kansas City to bring you live the play-by-play -play action between the Wichita Wings and the Kansas City Comets. Let's first of all give you the starting lineup for the Comets. In the Nets will be Enzo DePede. He is one of the players from the Chicago Horizons from a year ago. DePede with a 4.06 goals against average last year, although he only played 16 games for Chicago. He was an understudy to Chef Messing and the New York Arrows before going to the Windy City. Starting on defense will be Gino Giraldi. Giraldi also a Chicago Horizon player. And if you're wondering why so many Chicago Horizon players on a team that is transplanted from the San Francisco Fog, well, it's very simple. Their coach is Louis Dabo, and he also comes from the Chicago Horizon. Also starting on defense, Len Salvamini. He is the only player right now suited up for the Comets from the San Francisco Fog. The only other one on the roster is Johnny Moore. He is acting as an assistant coach this evening. Ibarer Ferreira. He will start at the midfield position along with Marco Abascal. David Butler will act as the forward. So your starters again for Kansas City. Enzo DePede in the next on defense is Gino Giraldi and Len Salvamini. Ivar Ferreira will start at the midfield along with Marco Abascal. And David Butler will act as the forward. For Wichita, some sad news tonight. If you're a Wings fan, you remember that little collision last night between Storm and Norman Piper and Slobo Ilyevsky. Well, Norman Piper has come out of that with a very sore knee, and he will be out of action for a couple of weeks. So Norman Piper, scratch him from your wings lineup tonight. Starting in the nets, of course, for Wichita is Mike Dollar, number one for the wings. He had a 4.12 goals against average last year. He gave up four goals last night against the St. Louis Steamers. Starting in a midfield position, he's normally a forward, is Frank Rasmussen. Rasmussen, along with Kim Runtved and Jurgen Christensen, making up that great, great Dane connection. It'll be Rasmussen and Jurgen Christensen at the midfield position on defense to start for the Wings again. These are only the starting lineups. Of course, the players will change quite a bit as the action gets underway. Starting on defense, Kim Runtved and John Cutbush for the Wichita Wings. And starting it forward for the second night in a row, Andy Chapman just arriving to the Wichita Wings this last Tuesday. He practiced Wednesday and Thursday and played last night. Although Andy did not get a goal, he really came on like a ball of fire at the end of last season. Andy ended with 11 goals in four playoff games, 20 goals in all in the last eight games of the season. He scored 29 goals for the year, and that set a team record along with 12 assists for 41 total points. And he was really sterling, especially in the playoffs, Klaus, because Andy had five goals against the Chicago Horizon in the playoffs. And really what we're looking at here in this Kansas City squad is a, a sort of a Chicago Horizon-San Francisco fog combination. And uh, coached by a very demanding coach in Dabo, he uh, expects very much out of his players. Uh, I think we'll probably see a type of ball game that will also show a lot of ball control very, very similar to uh, the style of uh, the Wichita Wings. So you look for mostly a ball control type game, maybe not a lot of penalties, but it should be some good action up and down the field. Especially since the San Francisco Fog is pretty well gone, uh, their style was more deliberate and very physical. Please rise, move your hat. Well, we have a capacity crowd at Kemper Arena in excess of 15,000 tonight here in Kansas City to watch the home opener for the Comets to now our national anthem.